Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Natalie Diaz from When My Brother Was an Aztec, published by Copper Canyon Press in 2012. Uh, this poem is entitled, Of Course She Looked Back. You would have, too. From that distance, the shivering city fit in the palm of her hand like she owned it. She could have blown the whole thing, markets, dance halls, hookah bars, set the city and its hundred harems tumbling across the desert like a kiss. She had to look back. When she did, she saw pigeons glinting like debris above ruined rooftops, towers swaying, women in broken skirts strewn along burned-out streets like busted red bells. The noise was something else. Dogs wept. Roosters howled, children and guitars popped like kernels of corn feeding the twisting blaze. She wondered, had she unplugged the coffee pot? The iron was the oven off. Her husband uttered, keep going, whispered, stay the course, or baby, forget about it. She couldn't. Now a bursting garden of fire, the city bloomed to flame after flame like hot fruit in a persimmon orchard. Someone thirsty asked for water, someone scared asked to pray. Her daughters or the crooked-legged angel, maybe. Dark thighs of smoke open to the sky. She meant to look away, but the sting in her eyes, the taste devouring her tongue, and the neighbors begging her name. That was Of Course She Looked Back by Natalie Diaz from When My Brother Was an Aztec, Copper Canyon Press. 2012. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the uh, description of the video for more information about Natalie Diaz, as well as a link to purchase the book um, and more information about other projects and series I'm currently working on. I apologize for the lateness of this particular video. Uh, usually I have them out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, but occasionally I get sidetracked by real life things and uh, the video doesn't get out on time. So this is coming to you a day late. Um, but I'm grateful for your patience and for your willingness to, to support this channel uh, with your likes, your subscribes, your, um, your, your comments, and, and your willingness to share these videos as links on social media. Um, I'm thankful for the ability to share these videos and to talk about contemporary poetry and to hopefully in some small way connect you to a wider assortment of voices, a, a larger uh, community of experience and uh, open up the world of poetry, or bring us back in remembrance of the wonderful things that poetry can do, the ways it can startle us, inspire us, transform us, um, and humble us. I'm grateful for poetry, grateful for the power of art to do that, and wish you all the best in your own creative journeys, wherever they take you, and whatever it is that you're creating. Um, until next time, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and we'll be back again very soon, <laughs> very soon as in tomorrow, with another video um, with more poetry and more reading. And until then, stay safe and well. We'll be uh, do the best we can <laughs> in the, the next uh, 24 hours to, to work on another video. And uh, wish you all the best until we, we cross paths again. So stay, stay safe and well, and stay safe and well. And keep reading, keep writing, keep being part of the great conversation of art. And we will see you soon.